Well, episode two, I've got a mouse cursor now. Isn't that hype? Yeah, it tur turns out that my uh, recording settings were not entirely efficiently set up. Regardless, we're continuing with Synthetic Dawn. This is, once again, the pre-release of the actual game. I'm having a lot of fun with it so far. So, uh, right now we're colonizing our next planet. Kip, uh, habitability and happiness has been reduced on Kip, sadly, for uh, the planet, or at least a good thing for us. Uh, basically, we have zero impact from that. Also, uh, in general, we're going to need to take a look at how to curb the growth of the other two empires. Sadly, our influence is rather limited, as well as our mineral income. Uh, putting a influence station or frontier outpost in either this position or this position would be optimal to uh, curb the growth of the Han theocracy and uh, the Galactic Sirkok Politi. Uh, for the Sirkok Politi, putting a uh, influence outpost in Castor would be optimal. Sadly, these are not uh, options that we currently have. Uh, energy, like I said, is uh, a bit of a problem at the moment. We do uh, need to start looking at getting more energy. Let me quickly move the microphone a little bit closer to my mouth. Uh, but yeah, getting more energy is kind of good right now because obviously we are... Using quite a lot of it due to our colonization efforts, uh, we could also decide to build some more pops. Uh, something that I am particularly partial to. However, uh, looking at the service of Kip, there's a lot of really good options here. And if you're wondering, hey, Ace, why is there just soci um, physics research here? That's because this is, in fact, a, uh, a planet that has mostly... Uh, this type of uh, resource. Uh, because we are robots, we have the opportunity to pick whatever resort, uh, whatever planet we want, considering we have almost maximum habitability bonuses, which means that we can basically take whatever planet we have, and considering in uh, this particular version of the game in 1.8, the rebalancing of the planets has um, basically means that certain planets have more of certain resources. In the center of a particularly large crater on 88 Delta 2757 lies a cluster of metal shapes, doubtlessly of alien origin. My officer is convinced that they are massive planetoid mountable propulsion devices intended to push the asteroid from its orbit to purpose and destinations unknown. Interesting. The crew is on standby and begin disassembly analysis of the alleged propulsion systems and how oh, we get logical acquisition successful. I am pro uh, pr thrusters for free. Really, I only get up to three new options are generated. Gives me two. Uh, gives me just the one. Oh, actually. This is already done. Fascinating. So yeah, we're already researching this apparently. Fascinating. Uh, Resource-wise, we are looking very strong. Let's um, get another mining station up and running over here. Kip obviously is going to take some time. Uh, 57 months is a long-ass period. Uh, it basically means that we can spend resources on TARS as well as our Cymex for that reason. Who are fairly intelligent as well. Uh, they are very useful and um, putting slow breeders on them. It doesn't look like they actually grow themselves, which is rather interesting. Uh, but they are strong and intelligent, which means that uh, they are looking pretty good in overall. Uh, we could clear this and put yet another TARS on it because we do get b b uh, bonuses to power drills. What's the. Are you. Expanding and they put a planet out. That's a shame. Hmm. Construction complete. Thank you, Tars. Okay, so we have more energy. Construction complete. And our station is also now up and running. Uh, let's put a leader on here. Oh, actually, System we can get aggressive, but we don't have enough influence points. We have an upliftable species. The dormant species on Uia 3 exhi uh, exhibits unusual intelligence. Interesting. We can increase their... It's a size 21 world as well. Could we turn these into... Any sort of species? Uh, no, right now we just have Cymex. So, so oh, wow, 12 minerals in this system. How big is this planet? 21. That is sufficient. How big is Kip? 
Kip is fairly big as well. I wish that on the planetary sur uh, summary it actually said how big the planet is. Uh, sounds like that is not the case. Uh, this would also be a great way to block any sort of in and outgoing traffic into the system. But 12 minerals is pretty massive. There's another pretty good system over here as well with this tomb world in it. This arctic world is... seems to have a lot of potential. This world is very food-based. A lot of decent minerals, a lot of society research. This one is a lot of minerals and energy. I like this one better because it also has a decent amount of engineering research on it. A lot of minerals. Uh, putting a... Hmm... Like, if we put a ship shelter down here, we can get adjacency bonuses, and then put a, um, a mineral hub over here to get additional adjacency bonuses over here. So, effectively, this would be the optimal spot uh, to put down a ship shelter, uh, so we can get multiple bonuses from multiple adjacencies. Uh, let's clear this tile. Uh, we have some time when it comes to um, setting up more population. We can also spend some resources on a new Corvette. So getting two more, we're almost at our fleet cap. So let's actually go into our fleet designer. We are rocking mi uh, missiles. This is a new hide obsolete component system, uh, which is kind of cool. And we can get a lot of armor on our ships. We do not have enough power. Hmm. So, let's get for a new ship design. Um, what was it called again? Anomalous surface variable detected. Planetary alert. Tile blocker expunged. Okay, so... Um, was it this one? No, I'm thinking about uh, a system set up here. Um... System survey complete. Okay, so basically just quickly going on to uh, the Wikipedias. Complete. Ah, yeah, there we go. So, we're going to research this, and this is going to be our new type of ship, which is a general systems vehicle. So, there you go. So, that will be our base unit in the meantime. Uh... We're going to pretend that it has AI on top of it as well, so... These aliens are starting to worry me. They are still equivalent to us. How big is this planet they're colonizing? Okay, this one is actually really good. Two Petherian stone. This one is pretty garbage, so I don't know why they would put their stuff on this. Technological acquisition successful. Mm, okay. Fusion reactor is here, and we can get deflectors as well. Hmm. Critical failure. Oh no. Apparently we lost a ship. Oh great. That is unfortunate. Uh, we'll get a need to get a new sign ship out of that. Um, research speed or deflectors. Uh, research speed because any initial bonus um, adds up in the late game. So I think this is a good choice right now. Let's get the fleet upgraded. Uh, we are building a new... Why am I still have the Corgas? Let's, uh, let's get rid of you. And uh, let's not automate any new designs. Construction let's, complete. Let's, let's do... Uh, this, the colony ships actually... Ship augmentations completed. Good. Uh, transport ships should be upgraded. Defense platform is not something that I'm particularly interested in at this moment. Uh, our fleet is looking good. We do want to... Do we want to get an admiral on this? Or do we want to get a new scientist? Uh, we already have a new scientist, so it doesn't really matter. Which means that we can get an admiral. Um, a strength admiral. And basically, they will live forever anyway. So, Unless, of course, they break down. Uh, Ship augmentations completed. Thank you, robot. So, System survey complete. Uh, let's... Let's get you to go in here. And then basically go down the pipe a little bit and see what we can find. The ship is down here. We can find stuff. There's a pulsar down here. Uh, let's go down this dead end. Maybe we can... I, I really wonder how the AI interacts with 
things like um, this horizon signal. Very curious how that would work. Uh, there should be another batch of energy here. Yeah, there is. So let's get a little bit of additional energy. Because uh, the development of our uh, stuff is still a thing. You guys are still equivalent to us. We won't be able to take him on for a little while. Um, try as you might, Tars. Oh, they got a defensive pack with the Han. Oh, that is really annoying. So if I attack one, they're basically in a defensive pack with each other. That is a problem. Um, we're going to need to... What's this? Tars Army. Drone Grid. Hunter Killer. Cool. They're pretty strong. 3.96. Mass-produced tracked war machines. Tracked war machines. It reminds me... Wait, can I do cool stuff there as well? Can I attach something cool to it? That's just Combat Software 101. Wow, they actually added updates to the attachment system. That means they're still actively development for the attachment system. That is su incredibly surprising. Because I basically thought by myself they thrown away the attachment system completely. Uh, to me, I find the attachment system to be completely and utterly worthless. Obviously, this is just a man with an opinion, all that jazz, but you know, I still feel that said opinion is kind of still valid. Energy-wise, um, so we have a decent amount of minerals. What is our best option to get some research. There is some society research we can get over here. That's our biggest amount. System survey complete. Thank you. System survey is complete. Oh, of course we didn't need any new scientists. The scientists didn't die. It was the ship that was exploded. And, okay, that's great. That's good to hear. Because in a normal game, our scientists would have died in that particular uh, environment. We are about to get additional army damage and mineral income. Which by itself doesn't sound like all that much, but it's actually a quite a big deal. Because bonuses over a long period of time, they do stack. Um, getting bonuses at the start of the game is generally what you want. Because over a long period of time, they do impact things quite significantly. Uh, these are the new uh, skill levels. Uh, we can get them up to uh, level 5. We are running uh, repurposed hardware on our robots, but it doesn't really matter because they basically live forever. 34 months till the next one. We can get Bulwark of Harmony. Complete. While in the defensive war with another empire, shipbuild speed is increased and fire rate is increased by 15% within our borders. Which is a good thing for us. Because I totally expect these guys to attack us at some point. They are in the defensive pacts. But as soon as they are at a point where they're like, hey, we can jump these guys, they will success. try. There's the mineral bonus. Improved servo motors. Batharian power plants. Uh, yes. Do we have Batharian on any of our worlds? That's the real question. Uh, we'll need to wait for Kip to be done. Let's not go for Batharian power. Uh, yeah, we kind of need to. System survey complete. Not, my god, there's so many resources. Like, this is a great system to put a uh, station in. There's so many good stuff in here. So many resources. And especially with this one as well. Seven engineering points. Complete. It's huge. Hmm. Okay, so you are done with that one. So let's get some engineering and energy. And I want to get more engineering, really. Because the engineering tree is, I feel important to us because that's basically where all of our power plants are in as well as any sort of um, missile weapon tech is in there as well and considering we're running missiles I feel it's very important that we do so I could get a mineral silo it's actually not a bad idea because we do get an adjacency bonus and we get a minimum of six plus the what's on there on the tile so we get plus four and we get a mineral bonus as well, so uh, we can build a pop on there as soon as we can. So let's get that rolling, and then build another TARS on top of it, because I do feel that this is pretty important to us. Uh, you are not affected by happiness, and neither are you. That is great. But yeah, this I, I feel this mineral silo is going to be fairly useful in this position. It's not the greatest. If there was a mineral tile to our left, then it would have been even better, but sadly this is not the world that we live in. 
So that is a bit of a shame, but sadly, that's how it is. Uh, we need 100, right? Yeah, 100 minerals for a new robot pop. For a new TARS to join us. In a perfect world, we'd be making first contact with another System's robot complete. civilization. And looking at the map in terms of mineral distribution, this entire area is staggering. Absolutely staggering. How much would it be to put a frontier outpost here? We need 60 more influence. Mm. Yeah, this is... Anomalous surface variable detected. Well, scanning the asteroid belt, our science team found some irregularities. Interesting. All right, let's build another TARS. Let's be done with that. Um, this construction machine is still doing stuff. We're getting a decent amount of engineering research. Construction complete. Like our society research is, is growing quite nicely. What did we build? Yeah. Let's uh, deactivate this for now. What an interactive building. Okay. The final rest. By what has to be beyond astronomical odds, the ice planet has been actually managed to pinpoint the source of the odd signals as it soared past it through the uh, asteroid belt. A tiny alien construct, a simple scan revealed that it was some sort of ritualistic container. Uh, it's a coffin of the alien spacefarer. We can get society research or a whole bunch of the other ones. How much do these guys hate us? Uh, a lot. Then a lot. Okay, let's open the coffin. Because uh, there's a good chance that it's related to any of these species, so. Oh, cool. There's a there's a pop construction icon here. That's kind of cool. Did not know that. The stars is going to be done fairly soon. How is our logic engines? Bulky. Mm. Can we... Can we... Apply templates here? No, we need machine templating apparently before we can uh, adjust our technological self. acquisition successful. So let's build at least one more general systems vehicle, and let's get a bio lab up and running. Uh, we do want to get some bio labs because obviously uh, it's a good thing to have. Our fleet is looking fairly decent actually. Six hundred fleet power. We got small nuclear missiles. A lot of. Armor on there. How are we looking? With, are we doing any shields right now? We just are doing research speed. Uh, these guys are actively hostile to us now. So are these guys. And I... Construction complete. If we can, we will get Sanctuary, obviously. There's a lot of really good stuff here. But we won't be able, won't be able to take them out until we have at least 20,000 fleet power. Looks like Kip is almost done with colonization. I really want to get this planet. Complete. How much would it? 200. 200. That's a lot. Um, expansion. Surface settlement established. Ooh, the Erasian Concordat. We've recovered artifacts from an ancient civilization uh, in the Kenius II system that may have translated so far to their language. We have learned that these aliens called themselves the Erasian Concordat, and they were an interstellar power that had sway over the regions a little over a million years ago. They appear to have been a six-limb mammalian and are refer several triple references to some sort of play called the Javorian Pox. Situation log adjusted. Interesting. Okay, so fleet order has been finished. Okay, so we have the Erasian Concordat. And Kip has been done, is done doing stuff on this planet. Energy, we're looking very strong. Uh, we have access to Batharian Stone now, but we will need more population. So let's build some more TARS units on this here planet. Can I build another pop? No, we, we still need some more minerals. We can build at least two pops on that planet. We, we should probably reformat our build, so to speak, of our species to add uh, the ability to faster build our units, or b faster build our pops. Yeah. Uh, we already got the robotic build speed, which is down uh, increased by 33%, which is huge. Absolutely huge. Plus, we can get an additional one monthly influence, and we can get one ascension perk. Unrest is not something that we have. Self-preservation protocols and bulwark of harmony. Right, right, we just got the one. 
So let's build... Can we build two pops at the same time? No, we need to wait for the other pop to be finished. So effectively, we just wasted 100 minerals. 100 minerals that could have gone to building a ship. Which would have been much more valuable. Such is life, I'm afraid. Or such is robotic existence, I'm afraid. Uh, meanwhile, I'm I'm surface variable detected. there are signs of an alien and precursor success. race. Excellent. Let's go take a look. A more Erastian concordant, no doubt. Research speed plus five. Good. Assisting research graphometric. I do want to get construction complete. Colony fabrication drones. Forty-four months. I do think it's worth it. Okay, this is developing nicely. Uh, there's a lot of space here to build more TARS. A smaller Rassian military listening post has been built onto a hollowed-out portion of the asteroid's interior. None of them are fun functional. Cool. Uh, asteroid Situation listening post. Adjusted. Okay, so they have their first pl extra planets. Yeah, these guys are still equivalent. Let's add one more general systems vehicle. It's 300 minerals for a spaceport. It has System been lowered by 50. It used to be 350. What's up with all these minerals? Holy shit, there are so many of them. I really need to colonize this world. It's, it's so much worth my while. Uh, you're a spark of genius scientist. You're pr not necessarily the best option there. Uh, let's upgrade this uh, construction ship if it's not doing anything. Construction complete. Thank you. Uh, TARS has finished its construction queue. We're now at our fleet cap. These guys, they do get... Monthly influence plus zero five. Okay, slave resource production. Also, fire rates and unrest modifiers. Ship augmentations completed. Mm. Oh, we get a new one. Um, machine leaders are fifty percent likely to suffer breakdowns. Let's do it. Uh, normally, I would go for extensible software because it reduces the tr tradition cost overall because of the amount of colonies. Complete. But still, All right, Taurus is growing nicely. Um, System survey complete. There's not much we can do right now, really, except for trying to aim to colonize this world. The main thing I'm worried about here. Well, we are really close, though. But we need we need. 500 minerals to do it. Uh, I'm more interested in building a spaceport over here so we can add additional fleet power to our fleets. Uh, obviously, a fleet power adding to our fleets is kind of straightforward, but you kind of get the idea there. Okay, so we're getting bonuses here. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, plus two from adjacent... Adjacent administration array, yes. Improved servo motors, the governor skill. Okay, so we're getting a logical acquisition successful. We're not getting any minerals from this at all. Okay, that's a shame. Batherium power plant. Ooh, fusion missiles. How long would that take? Sixty-one months. <sighs> Robo modding. One hundred and forty-one months. And my network is totally not worth it at this moment. It's way too early in the game to go for that sort of thing. System survey complete. But yeah, building a building a spaceport over at Kip is going to be really important for us. Um, basically, we want to. Oh, good lord! They've got another colony already. That will slow down their technological expansion by quite a lot. Uh, there's a good chance that they. What kind of tropical world, right? They are a savanna world, so they will colonize this one. They will colonize this world as well. And these guys have a lot of opportunity to expand as well. So they all have three worlds. We only have two. But System survey complete. Obviously, we have less issues when it comes to expansion stuff. Okay, we're almost ready to build another spaceport. I do think that 
Centralizing our stuff is currently more important. Again, eight minerals. What's up with all these minerals everywhere? That's crazy. Twelve minerals. Is that all condensed into... Technological acquisition successful. Uh, Biolab 1. Ooh, Core Sixer Systems. We can already have five, so it's not the end of the world. Um, let's go for something cheap here. Army upkeep. We don't really have all that many armies at the moment. Getting this spaceport is going to be very important. Uh, having an additional 900 fleet power on one of our stations is going to be incredibly worthwhile. 56, 56 months remaining. Or 54 months remaining, even. Um, we could build another TARS. Yeah, let's build another uh, TARS on this basic science lab. Basically, we want to keep on building POPs as, for as, as long as we can. As soon as we can, as well. Uh, I'm just worried that these guys are going to try to jump us as soon as they feel a uh, sense of blood in the water, so to speak. Let's go a little bit quicker. Speed things up a little bit. We've only uh, moved on for like seven years in this game so far. Okay, soon. Okay, now we can build another TARS. That's good. Uh, this science ship is not doing anything right now. So let's go down the pipe. Let's see if we can find any other empires. Obviously, other empires will not like us because we are, in fact, horrible assimilators. I like how... Okay, that's... Apparently a hundred. Okay. Building a lot of pops right now. Complete. Good. Um... Anomalous surface variable. We've detected life signs coming from somewhere beneath the barren life of surface of this planet. What possible organism could live there? Uh, we can get a biolab out of this. So biolabs right now are a good option. We have a lot of society research already. I'd rather have... Silicone life forms. Some kind of burrowing silicone life form is on this planet. It gives us a plus three in minerals. Like, this is physics research. Uh, okay. System survey complete. Let's cancel one and build one in parallel. So we do want to get us. We're gonna want to get more general sir, general system. Construction complete. Okay, so the construction complete. Baseboard is done. Let's add a solar panel network. So it's basically three, or otherwise the upkeep is plus three. So you basically always want to build a solar panel on your stations. It is the way to go. There's a lot of society research here that I'm missing, right? Yeah. Construction complete. Okay, am I missing... Where's the other society research that I'm missing here? Oh, is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. So I just need one more month, and then... Construction complete. Cool, so it's plus six. So basically, we're, we just doubled... Almost uh, added 50% additional society research. Which is really good. Really did it. Really, really good. Okay. System survey complete. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Kip is ready. We've got all the stuff there. We have technological to acquisition successful. Yeah, okay, that was society. Construction wasn't it? complete. Let's add some naval capacity here. What did we just build that impact our stuff. We should build another kip. And it should be on this physics tile. Oh, not a tar, is my apologies. Um, energy, really important for tars. Oh, good lord. Okay, interesting. They've expanded over there. Yeah, I'm really worried they're going to start out expanding us we System really need to complete. capture this area okay so i need to build another tars whenever i can yeah there we go 
Construction complete. If I want to build a frontier outpost here, we could do it. So let's build a frontier outpost in that system. Construction complete. We need 71 system more minerals. Complete. Executing evasion protocols. Oh, hello. Ooh, I just realized something. Let's get you over here and you can go over here and once you're done there you can go over there so basically we have all of our special projects are being done right now hopefully the shipyard will give us yeah it's a frontier outpost. good 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 12 minerals a lot of science complete. as well void clouds okay our investigation into the peculiar clusters of debris in space does has yielded surprisingly surprising results there's a particular crowd bliss, uh, bristling with powerful charge of unknown origin. It has no business exhibiting simple or reflexive actions, let alone movement with purpose. And yet it does. There's something undeniably ominous about the hazy subject of the relayed video feeds. Perhaps there are things in the universe we should not tangle with. Let us watch. Situation log adjusted. Ten months. Let's do it, because we should be able to get a bunch of interesting research options out of this. Okay, we're building another TARS, and we're building another KIP. Okay, good. Uh, we should effectively really be constantly be building new TARSes and, uh, new TARSes and KIPs. Wherever we can, really. Increasing our population and science output is going to be really important. Our society is already plus 18, which is ridiculously high. A foreign entity has decrypted our Ooh. communications. Yes, yes, yes. We heard it all before. We are the Psychit Archivists. You are the Tars Collective. Greetings. Well met. Stay out of our space or face certain doom and so forth. Now, if you'll excuse me, we're, we're quite busy. Join us. Uh, ooh, that is a fallen empire all the way down here. They don't really care about us. They're the keepers of knowledge. Technological acquisition successful. All right, cool. We got to increase naval capacity. Good. What well, is a good option? We don't really need terrestrial sculpting. Um, I do want to get more fleet stuff. But in the meantime, though, it's been 30 minutes. We're going to go wrap up this episode. It's uh, It's been really interesting so far. And, like, the growth of a synthetic empire is definitely a lot slower. But they are so powerful. And I'm really looking forward to see how they are going to develop on a more galactic scale. Obviously, we're struggling right now because we have three... The enemy around us has three planets, but considering we have less population, we should be able to grow our technology a lot faster. Sadly, we don't have the fleet cap available to do more. Regardless, I'm going to wrap up the episode here. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take good care of yourselves, and if always, eat shutter.